guys good morning so today is friday and we are going to vlog and share with you guys the renovation that we're doing in our washroom this has been in our plan for years now and now that we're able to do it it's very nerve-wracking because we're doing most of the work ourselves this week coming up is march break which um perfect because the kids don't have to go to school my husband take the day off the week off um to do this renovation so And we're also <laughs> we built our own vanity because I have been looking for the tone of a wood that I wanted and I want it to be real wood instead of just laminate covered with vinyl um, finishing and I couldn't find any in our price range and the size that I wanted I want my vanity to be a little bit bigger than what we had before. So our new one would be 32 inches wide. Um, so it will go very close to the toilet. Probably will go like until this part here, which I don't mind because our toilet holder is going to be installed against like on the vanity. The reason why I decided to build it is the price and the size. The price of real wood vanity in the market, you're gonna spend at least a thousand dollars, and I don't want to spend a thousand dollars, and it's not the exact design that I wanted. So we brave it out. I let my husband watch this girl. I'm gonna link her channel down below because I'm not gonna include, in this renovation, I'm not gonna include how we built the vanity because it's really hard. We struggled a lot with the wood and and it's just a lot of struggle. And it's so hard to build something when you don't have tools, like proper tools yourselves. So we just depended um, mainly on, you know, Home Depot to cut our wood and stuff. So there are some more that was cut bigger and smaller. So we just rectify, rectify that ourselves. But as I mentioned, I'm not gonna include the process of building the vanity in this vlog or in this process. Uh, I'm gonna link the video of the plan that we um, followed. Um, DIY wife, she's very talented. She built a lot of, you know, custom made furniture in her house and for other people. So I'm going to link her channel down below and I'm going to link the video that we followed. I made my husband watch this video. I watched this video so many times and she made it so easy. But when you build it yourself, oh my God, it's so hard but we did it we built our vanity we ordered a custom made um countertop with sink the size we wanted and the finish that we wanted um but it's a lot of work and uh, but we're very proud this is our first time building something from scratch and we are very proud of ourselves so it's a lot of work doing it yourself but at the same time you are saving a lot of money so initially i got a quote from the same person who's gonna do the tile in here i asked for a quote for the size of the washroom if he's gonna do everything demo uh getting rid of gunk and doing everything um just the labor alone it's eighty five hundred dollars and we already spent so much money and materials and all of that and on top of that i'm gonna pay eighty five hundred no man i'm not paying eighty five hundred for this little washroom so you know i told my husband we're gonna do most of the work it's just it's a small bathroom we're not moving plumbing we're not moving anything it doesn't stay the same layout as it is so it's just gonna be you know ripping off old gunk in here and um, updating it and stuff and i'm really excited and i'm really scared and today friday we are gonna start demoing this thing when my husband gets home from work
you can see um, this is the old mortar we're not gonna remove this because it's really hard to remove this and we're gonna apply mortar underneath the tiles anyways so we decided to leave this on and then we're just gonna apply like a thin layer to level everything before we put in our tiles but all of that we're gonna do ourselves we're gonna demo this everything we're gonna take out the toilet um, this vanity light I hate for years um, so now we have a new plan to move those main lights off of there and we are do scone sets so there's two scones that will go over this side and this side you know beside the mirror and everything but we just have to center it our old vanity sink is smaller than what we're going to have the new one So a little update we had to change our plumbing all the old um, copper water line has to be has to get cut and we had to change from a single um, faucet to a double water faucet line because we got a different um, type of um, shower head also we spray foam around the window to seal it we pull out all the old insulation put in a new one and install a vapor blocking plastic and then put up a new set of drywall so my husband has to work on taping all of those seal those um, corners and paint on waterproofing membrane for it to be ready for for the tiles also our tub was installed today which i'm very happy so that's the update of the bathroom so tomorrow i'll be working again unfortunately but there will be somebody who will tile around the tub all the way to the ceiling also my husband has to apply some um wood potty and sand them a little bit so that when i get home tomorrow i can work like in the night time to paint the whole wall and also tomorrow my father-in-law is gonna come back and install my light so happy um tune in by the end of this series because i'm gonna tell you what would i have done if i have more knowledge about renovation what would i have done differently i'm gonna talk about that at the end of the series but this is probably gonna be two or three part series